guys, welcome to the next episode. Sorry about last episode being just that huge mini game, same mini game for the whole thing, but see so many vaginas. Yeah. Anyway, this episode, like I said, we're going to go get the three last eggs, we'll lose my shield, and we're going to get a piece of heart. Two piece of hearts, actually. Let's grab this one. Because last episode we got a new bottle and a new piece of heart. So we got everything we needed from that mini game, and so we're good. And that one. Straightness. As you can see at night, it's, it's night now because that one time mini game took us a bit. Uh, like legs come out on the field, so this is where we're going to lose our shield. We're mainly doing this to show what the like leg does, and also showing you where you can buy a new shield. But I'm not going to buy a new shield. I just want to lose a shield. I think you get it back when you go back in time, but I don't care. There we go. I didn't want to be eaten again! Wow, you actually got eaten? <laughs> the first one was on purpose, the second time wasn't. Okay. You guys, <laughs> you actually wanted to get vaginas. What? Exactly. <laughs> Alright, we're not going to go over on the island thing yet. Let's go into something squishy and totally not safe. Mmm. I don't know, like that, boy. Mm, We're gonna yeah. go get an item real quick for this one guy. Wow, it's a good thing. We uh, we're gonna go to a place called Pinnacle Rock. Now, you can totally... Th this item we're about to get is completely optional, because I've done it before as a kid. And I didn't even know about, like, it being optional. Like, I didn't even know about this item's existence beforehand. It's, it's an easy path to actually go off of, but... You're gonna miss out on a piece of heart if you don't do this, so... We're gonna if do it. If you don't do this, you'll... Fail. Let's just talk to this thing. Hey, baby. How you doing? <laughs> I'm a work of art. I I'm got a sexy picture. This guy's a huge pervert. Which I think this is the first pervert in... No. A um, Ocarina of Time was full of perverts, actually. The first pervert? Wait, what? <laughs> I was about to say he's the first pervert in Zelda, but Ocarina of Time was full of perverts. Uh, lots of fucking perverts in that one. Child molestation. See those two rocks? We gotta swim through exactly between those, or else we will not be able to become superhero. Actually, we won't be able to actually access the next area we need to go to. Because this place is very touchy of where you can go. It's kind of like Journey, and it's like little wind up blows you back type of thing. That's kind of what this is. Indeed. I wish they could make a full ocean for us to explore, rather than segment it off. That'd be something worth wishing. Yeah, but the N64 can't handle that, so... Damn it! Damn it all! Alright. Let's let you out of here. So you can, like I said, you can go through this whole entire area without the little guy. But again, he's wanted for reasons that I cannot explain. Well, I can't explain. It's for it's for a piece of heart, like I said. Yeah, I'm sure you could find it. I've always noticed when I have this character in this area with me, the game likes to lag like a lot. Frame rate just is terrible. Either that or this whole entire area of Pinnacle Rock is just terrible with frame rate. It's terrible. You should not. Like, if you just follow the signs like I have been doing and you can actually walk, like, use those fish as a checkpoint, it's actually not that hard of a place to get through because I used to do this all the time as a kid. And you, again, you don't need the horse guy, horsey guy, but it's for a piece of heart. I cannot stress that enough. Listen to the man. He knows what he's doing. All right, I am low on energy because of that one little stupid thing I pulled at the Pirates Bay. So we might have to use different means of taking these guys out. Oh yeah, they will eat you. Those things are called, I believe, sea snakes. Oh, God, they always distort your camera. So it's kind of... Yeah, man. How much did you use? Why did you go? Just need to slow down. Everything is permitted. I can't wait until Assassin's Creed 3 comes out. That's gonna be so much fun. 
Oh, it will be. Because, like, I, I just recently finished playing through Revelations. Now, originally, I, I said I didn't really like it because of that one because it basically gave you too many options. But then again, I recently played through Brotherhood, like, beforehand. So it's one of those things, like, don't play the prequel before playing the sequel. Or right after, just after playing the sequel. Don't play the sequel right after playing the prequel or else you're just going to be burnt out from it. That, cause that's what I've happened to me twice over. It's the reason why I played Brotherhood so late. And, you know, and stuff like that, so I decided to actually just come back to it. And it actually was really enjoyable. Alright, there's the four, first the three missing Zora eggs that are in here. There's people Damn. talking to me on Skippity Skype, and I can't check right now. One's probably spinning stream, the other one's probably a group chat or something. Probably. Ah! Stop eating me! I saw where you came out of. That is not a toy. That is a human being. Actually, it's not sure. Alright, even after getting all three eggs, which usually the last egg is in one of these holes, you still need to clean up all of these sea snakes to uh, get the piece of heart here. So I'm just going to do that. Like I said, it's not required to kill all these guys, but again, four piece of heart and this is 100%, so we gotta get everything. STOP EATING ME! Well, he likes you. I don't like how he likes me in that way. Actually, <laughs> no, like, I don't like him either way. I don't like getting eaten by these guys because they destroy your camera like crazy. You're over here, you asshat. Uh, now, you don't uh, have uh, to use magic to take them out. If I run out of magic, I'll show you another way to take these guys out. But I'm from judging by the fact of what's in this one, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. No time soon, no. Because it gives you a perfectly good place to actually uh, aim with the uh, rings. Hold up. Oh! Yeah, it looks like I'm going to be out of magic here in a second, guys. The game has willed it! The game has ruled. You're about to run out of magic. Any last words? I don't know. I might hold it sparingly here. <laughs> Using it sparingly like a bus. There's a chest in that one. I don't have room for the money. And after that, we killed these. This fool over here. Stop! Get! Mother! Fuck! Alright. <laughs> Out of magic. Yay. Yay. No magic. No magic. No magic. Well, I mean, okay, so. You can actually stand on the edge of the, uh, the hole to actually uh, make it so you can stand in a good spot to actually, you know, attack them. There's a lot of egg, but we still got one more to kill, like I said. Alright. Do it, do it, do it! Sure I can try to show off this. There's a sweet spot right here. Yeah, there you go. But. See, you got you have a sweet spot right here to actually take him out with your boomerangs if you're out of magic. Yeah. Hmm. Just the camera kind of gets distorted over here, so you gotta watch that. There we are. Finally. All right, let's talk to this person. Piece of heart. All right, let's speed swim out of here because this takes a bit. Doom, 
By the way, I'm speeding this part up, just so you know. Now put some music to it. Some gameplay music, because in the last part of Snowhead, I played a bunch of freaking Sonic music, because that's what I felt like. I was gonna. I don't have any Kingdom Hearts music that fit. That All right, little that, that little yeah, we'll fit. and what that little charade showed off is basically uh, what will happen if you go out of bounds. You go back to where you started that. So just keep that in mind, everyone. All right, now we got all the eggs. Let's go learn a song, and then we can explore Sora Cape a bit, and then we'll go be ready for the dungeon. Sounds like fun. Nice, yo. All right. When we learn the song, I guess I'll end the episode right there, and then we have the episode of exploring Zora Cape on day two. Yeah! Yeah! Giggity! You just that's a five dollars. There's also another piece of heart I forgot to mention, but it's kind of a pain. We'll take care of that here in a sec. Oh, and these it's in eggs. here. These nuts. Hey, hello, guys. We'll be talking to them. Oh, um, visiting them soon. We just need to get some fish. Oh, not some, not fish. Some fish. Oh, yeah. Click. Oh, by the way, you can't drop the Zora eggs anywhere else but here. Just so you know. Or that would be terrible. You can't drop them in the ocean? You can't, no. You can only drop them here. Wow. The game forbids you from dropping it anywhere else. Makes perfect sense. You might as well have to complete your quest that way, usually. Okay, we need that. No. That's, that's, that mask is useless now. Right, there we go. Bunny hood. So Zora babies are tadpoles, essentially. So Zoras aren't fish, they're frogs. <laughs> and they know how to dance. Bing. <laughs> oh, they're song notes. <laughs> yeah. Never notice that? Nope. This song I forget all the time. Bang! It's the most forgettable song ever. In this game, and all of Zelda. Ooh, Red Bosa. Maybe it's because it's not that interesting. I don't know. Why not? Because it's, it's not interesting at all. And, like, I always had a little thing that the guitar part actually sounds like a freaking trumpet. Or, uh, saxophone. Saxophone. I mean, you can still hear the guitar part, but it's not, like, showing the part at all. Yeah. yeah. Also, what staff is this? Oh, yeah. Nah, I can check later. Alright, let's go explore the new area in the next episode. A Dragon Ball. <laughs> hey, guys, welcome back to more Majora's Mask. I'm driving well, my yeah. Abra, as well, usual. Yeah. This is all the same session, as usual. So, in I the last episode, we learned the new song, and we got all the Zora eggs. In this episode, we're going to explore Zora Cape. Let's do it! Ah! Oh my god, what are those? What are those? Those were levers. Really? Yeah, I explained it in the, uh, the first episode of this session. Wow, they got fat! Yeah, they did get fat. Nah! Here's the back oh. door. 